because I'm, I'm glowing right now. That's how good this tip is. What is up, YouTube? Today, we're going to be going over a money play found in the Kansas City Chiefs offense. A little different, I know. If you guys are using the Oakland Raiders offense, I know you guys like the Oakland Raiders. You're going to have to follow along. It's going to not be as effective, but it's still going to be usable. So, first off, we're going to be going into tight slots. And the way I found this was actually in a CFM game. Shout out to you CFM players. But what you need to go to is strong slots. This is going to carry over to the gun tight slots HB week as well so be sure you go into strong slots normally where number one number 81 or deandre hopkins is is going to be a tight end what you do when you go into strong slots the tight end where number 10 is then switches over to number where number 10 is i'll show you guys right now it makes a little bit more sense so we got george kid george kittle really d hop is going to be moved out to where tyreek hill is so for example it would normally say george kittle right there you're going to go ahead and swap swap and sub in your fastest wide receiver for that position and then do not touch the tight end at all in fact with your when we go into our depth chart the number two receiver is going to go in at the tight end position so as we go down to our wide receivers you'll notice that d hop is at the number two that's who's going to be going into the tight end so be sure you have your depth chart set correctly with who you want in at tight end it doesn't really matter who it is because he's not going to be running any kind of special route so let's go back into this tight slots and again with strong slots on the field two things to mention there's actually three things to mention michael thomas says slot apprentice and crossing specialist you need that if you are not running hot route master which we have tom brady's so we don't necessarily need it but crossing specialist is going to be extremely helpful in getting those ad catches and then julio jones I believe he has post flag elite, maybe out corner elite, one of those two. Again, if you do not have hot route master, wide receiver apprentice is going to be necessary. So wide receiver apprentice on this guy and slot apprentice on the other. The other two, Tyree Kill and George Kittle, which we know is DeAndre Hopkins, they don't need any kind of abilities whatsoever. If you're not running hot route master and no escape artist, go ahead and put streak specialist on this wide receiver instead. I'm not going to worry about that all too much. We're going to have these two wide receivers running for Michael Thomas and Julio Jones. So the final piece of the puzzle, do not run any, do not run PA zone fake jet. You're not going to be able to get it to work. The play that we're going to be utilizing is this bench swap. This play ran stock is extremely deadly against any kind of cover two. So you can literally just come out of this bench swap and you can hit the corner out on the left side every single time against cover two. Today, we're gonna to take a little bit further with a couple different adjustments, and we're gonna start out in a cover three. Now, here you guys could probably think later on, Meister, you're crazy for throwing that. Trust me with post-flag elite, you can throw it anyways. The setup for this play, really easy and a fantastic way to attack a user as well. You wanna go ahead and block your running back, obviously, and then you're gonna go ahead and put a on a hitch and streak b again it's crucial that you do have speed and one thing i failed to mention as well be sure you're running this on a hash mark whoever you're going to go ahead and throw on a crossing and corner they need to be on the wide side of the field kind of think of it like this think of it like you're running pay shot and so you need to have the crossing route on the wide side of the field so michael thomas on the wide side of the field so this is what's looking like right now with hot route master or slot apprentice we're gonna go ahead and get Michael Thomas in on a cross. So bam, we got this guy on a cross. Now Julio Jones, you could leave this as a corner out. That corner out isn't really ran sharp at all. So we're gonna go ahead and use Hot Route Master or Wide Receiver Apprentice and put him on a corner out. Now with his post flag elite or out corner elite, whatever it may be, he's going to get some better route running as well as ag catches. So the reads, super simple. Crossing route is going to be open against every single coverage in the game. And with crossing specialists, you're going to be able to rack ag and just ag them all day long. This hitch is going to be utilized depending on where the user chases. Oftentimes, you're going to find that a lot of players like to use her, including myself. We like to use her one of these two middle linebackers and sometimes a safety depending on the defense. So you're going to utilize a hitch as a playmaker to whatever direction it may be. Now, for you guys that are running the gun tight slots HB week out of the Oakland Raiders offense, slightly different setup. What you would want to do is your tight end or whoever your wide receiver may be, you want to go ahead and streak him. Don't delay fade, streak, and then you would put B on a hitch or the outside receiver on a hitch, and that's what it's going to look like. 
For tight slots, I have found that it is better to streak the outside receiver and put your slot receiver on a hitch instead. So let's snap this ball. We're going to wiggle the left stick just a little bit to cancel it. But bam, right there. If you can get a little bit better pass lead, you can see dot. And with crossing specialist activate or getting activated every single time we throw it, you're going to... Wow, he's out of bounds for that. You're going to find that you're going to get a lot better possession, ag, and rat catches as well. So let's go ahead and do that one more time. So set it up. Be on a streak. A on hitch. This hitch is going to help pull that curl flat down. Block your running back. Corner out on X with hot route master. And then Y on a crossing route with either slot apprentice or hot route master. Let's go ahead and snap this ball. We'll talk about this corner out a little bit later on. That corner out is not a read at all against a cover three. It kind of is against a cover four. But you can see, again, that crossing route, very, very easy to fit in. And against a zoned out player, it's probably going to be a little bit more difficult to be able to fit in. So if you find that, then just get onto the hash that's on the opposite side and run it away from the zoned out player instead. Now, this corner out with whatever it may be, outpost or out corner elite or post lag elite, you can throw this, and it's going to sound a little wild, uh, but with the abilities, baby, we can throw it in coverage as much as we want. So we're going to look for Julio Jones. This one requires to work around the pocket just a little bit. And you can try it there, post flag elite, bam, or out corner elite, whatever it may be, bam, bam. We're going to be able to hit that every single time. So don't think I'm crazy for throwing that. The only time it would be a little sketchy if it's zoned out, then you got to be really careful about throwing that, especially if they do click on. But, you know, uh, since we have abilities in the game, you might as well just take advantage of how broken they are. So, again, post lag elite or out corner elite. Let's go ahead and look for this corner out. Same results. Ag em. Easy dot on the sideline. Now, cover two. This cover two is going to be torched by that corner out in particular. I will say this, against cover two, you're going to have to work the pocket pretty well for this to work. So let's go ahead and identify the blitzing linebacker. You normally would just go ahead and snap the ball and then I did identify it, but because I'm lazy, we're going to go ahead and cheat the system. What we need to happen is we need our running back to chop block. So what we're going to go ahead and do is double team this defensive end and ID this guy. And all that's being done with LB. And then you notice A is ID the mic, so you hit, you'd hit A. You see the little blue icons moving around. You hit A again to set it. Double team, same thing. LB down on the right stick. You notice that red icon or D2 or D squared is now able to move, and you'd hit A to set it. So we're going to go ahead and set this up again. Same exact thing, and it's going to be the same exact reads. Crossing route opened every single time. Corner route, if you can work the pocket, is going to get opened late. So let's go ahead and snap this ball. Bam, we get the block, we can work out, and he's right there. Post lag lead or out corner lead for an easy gain of almost 29 yards. Almost a one play touchdown against the cover two. Now keep in mind that is a zoned out safety as well. So we'll do this one more time. Set it up again. X on a corner out, Y on a crosser, block your running back. A on a hitch, B on a streak. We'll look for the crossing route again. Snap this ball. That time I didn't bother double team because we didn't have to roll out. You can see right there. As always, bam. I think that was a touchdown, if I'm being completely honest. But you can see, easy, easy, easy. Now, the one part I want to talk about real quick against the cover two or cover three, whatever it may be, is this little hitch and just utilizing the hitch. So we're going to put this guy in a corner out. Watch the mid read and how far it drops back. So you can playmaker that hitch inside. And say the for some odd reason they just leave that zone, they probably will to follow that crossing out. Just playmaker the hits towards the direction of where the open field is. It's that, that, I'm, I'm glowing right now. That's how good this tip is. But super easy to utilize that hitch. All you do is use the right stick and you just flick it whatever direction you want him to run and he will run it. With playmaker ability, they're going to run it a lot more sharply and a lot more concise to where you point them to go to. So just kind of keep that in mind as well. So now let's go ahead and talk about cover four, drop, show, too. Again, I like to come out and bench swap because it's great stock. It's great round stock to be a cover two on both sidelines. So let's set this up again. X on a corner, Y on a crosser, A on a hitch, B on a vertical or a streak or a go route, whatever you guys want to call it. And we're going to look for the same reads. Now, a cover four drop show two, there is an auto contain. So we're just going to go ahead and again work the pocket and look for either Julio Jones or Michael Thomas. So let's snap this ball. I'm going to wiggle left stick. That just cancels out the auto drop back. And you can see right there, bam, pass it down to the outside. 
Easy ad catch on the sideline. I don't know if that was complete or not. If he lights up, it is. It was not. But again, like the whole idea, just hit the open receiver, guys. It's really not that difficult to be able to make a quick read on this. Now, cover four drops are two. We're going to go look for this corner out. This is going to require that you do work the pocket. And we're going to go ahead and double team that defensive end and slide his direction to try and hit this corner out. So we'll snap the ball. Kind of get a double teams there right there. We're going to work the pocket. You can see right there. Bam. A little bit of a stop and go on the sidelines for an easy dot. Now, if that's a cloud flat, you're going to have to get outside the pocket to kind of be able to pull that cloud flat down and hit that corner out over the top. So, lastly, we'll do this. Cover four drops to two again. We'll press. We'll shade underneath. And we're going to set it up the same exact way. So, X on a corner. Y on a crosser. A hitch. B streak. Block your running back. And you can look for the corner. Or you can look for the, uh, the crosser. It kind of just depends on how you're going to work the pocket. We'll look for the corner of the crosser this time. I think it's right there. This is going to be easy to get open. And because we have crossing specialists, we can throw that anyways. That's why these abilities are pretty much broken. Because you can throw it right at the defender without any care of them existing in that position. So a little bit about cover four drop shot too. Palms and quarters. Palms especially is going to be very tricky to be able to beat but that corner out is going to be able to beat the match defense that it's going to have out there so let's just i'm going to start in a cover four quarters at first i know where cover four quarters is right off the bat and we're going to go back into this tight slots and to kind of finish it we're going to finish it off in the cover four palms palms it's frustrating because you never actually know how well it's going to play and so sometimes the palms will play great sometimes they'll play at garbage but against cover four quarters, look for Julio Jones or this cross route. So it's not the ball. I like to motion him out just because I feel like it gets better route running. And sometimes you'll find that if you don't motion out, the receivers may get ran into each other because a linebacker may jam a receiver at the line or whatever the case may be. So if you're having that issue, just motion him out and he's right there. Bam. Dot. That was the slowest bullet pass I've ever seen. But you can see right there, easy yards against this corner. We'll keep him in now this time and set it up the same exact way as always. So just like that. And we'll look for this crossing route. It kind of depends on how that quarter matches it. But you can see the outside quarter flat, or the quarter flat to the left side matches, I don't know, ridiculously late. And you can see it crossing route wide open as well. This hitch, very, very useful in a cover four quarters. So we'll set this up again. Hitch. You can playmaker him to the left late, and he's going to have a lot of field to work as well. So I'm going to try my best to just work the pocket right here, and we'll wait, we'll wait, we'll wait. Bam, you can see three yard cook eventually will leave him, and you can see all that open field that he has to work to the left. Again, just give that three yard cook a little bit of time. Eventually, he will bail, and you're going to have that open field to the left or the opposite side of where the cross or the same side of where the crosser is being ran from. So that's cover for quarters. You can hit again. Crosser is going to be open. The corner is going to get open, especially palms. On the other hand, is going to be a, a kind of frustrating because it's so random. And palms, you don't have to motion them out, but if they do something like press, you may find that he may get jammed. And so if that's the case, if you're finding that the wide receiver is getting jammed by either the linebacker or the slot corner, just motion him out and he'll be able to beat his man. But in this case, let's just run it as is. Bam. Because we have an ability, he's able to route up his own man in an easy gain of about, about 25 yards. So let's do that one more time. We'll set up. This time, I'm not going to bother pressing. Right here, the crossing route generally gets smothered pretty darn good. In this case, you can see right there what I'm talking about. The outside quarter plays it for some odd reason a lot more aggressively. So it's really, really sketchy to throw that. If you are finding that the outside quarter is playing it pretty well, you can try motioning this guy out. And then just set it all up the same as you would normally. And just see how well that reacts to that outside defender. You can see right there, bam. It's a little bit better. But again, because we're crossing specialists, we're essentially just getting bailed out. It's still not really a read. The corner out, as always, it's going to get open every single time. The only way they're going to be able to guard that corner out is essentially if they use it. And that's going to lead to some problems as well. So let's just snap this ball. Bam, out corner lead or post flag lead. You can see corner, absolute money. 
So that's gonna take care of this video. If you guys are new to the channel, be sure you hit that subscribe button. We're closing on a 1,000 closer and closer every day. It just, it blows my mind away. Hopefully you guys feel my appreciation for every single one of you. These small victories where you're taking every single day and you guys are making it possible. So until next time, guys, get in the lab, hop in your practice mode. Be sure if you guys are running mutt, you have water shape, apprentice, slide apprentice, or hot master, or post lag elite, or crossing specialist, it's gonna be really helpful. And yeah, see ya.